Have you invited someone to serve as a new board member in your nonprofit? Well, here are five things I wish every new board member knew before their first board meeting. These are some tips to prepare them for their new role. Hi, I'm Teresa Clark, a seasoned CPA with over 25 years dedicated to serving 501c3 nonprofits. I have experience both as an internal CFO and an external auditor of nonprofits. So I bring a unique perspective to your financial journey. To learn more, jump in and explore my website at TeresaClark.com. I've served on a ton of nonprofit boards, and when I had the opportunity to actually start a nonprofit, I knew to begin with the end in mind. I created a governance policy manual, and this document acted as a set of guidelines that defined how the organization would be run, how to ensure transparency and accountability, and how to make sure that proper decision making was done by the board and the staff. It also outlined the framework for operations. Well, this document is one of the most valuable investments I've made, and I'm excited to share it with students in my financially thriving nonprofit master course. You can learn more about this signature A to Z course on my website. Serving on a nonprofit board is an honorable commitment. And when approached thoughtfully, it requires a significant investment of your time, your skills, and your resources. However, many new board members walk into their first meeting unsure of what to expect, both from themselves and from the board experience. Surely there must be a better way to prepare for this important role. So here are some things you will need to know to lead well. Organizational history. Take time to learn about the organization's history, including its founding, its major milestones, and its past challenges. Understanding this context will help provide valuable insights as you engage with its mission and vision. Here's some questions. Who started the organization? Why was it started? What has the mission or leadership changed over the years? What have been some of the successes and failures? And how is this nonprofit viewed in our community? Okay, here's another one, compliance history. You wanna familiarize yourself with the organization's compliance history. This includes any legal or regulatory issues it's faced and also includes knowing the background that will help you understand any potential risks and the importance of governance in protecting that organization. Here's some questions. You wanna do your homework before you sit down at the table. Ask things like, is it legally incorporated? Does it have a 501c3 status? Is it current? Is it active? Has the nonprofit filed its Form 990 for this year? Is it registered to solicit donations in our states, if that's required? And who's handling that? As a board member, it's your responsibility to know these things. Number three, learn how to read financial statements. <laughs> this is a crucial skill for any board member. And I find that a lot come on the board not knowing. So get comfortable with each of the reports and ask yourself this question. Is there something I should know about the finances that's not clear from the financial reports? You should ask. This knowledge will enable you to contribute effectively to financial discussions and decision making. Number four, ask questions. Don't hesitate to ask questions during meetings and even between. Whether you're seeking clarification on financial data or something about the rationale of a strategic decision, asking questions shows that you're engaged and you're committed to the organization's success. I guarantee you there are no dumb questions. Creating a culture in the boardroom where all questions are welcome will foster a culture of open communication and effective collaboration. Number five, understand your role. You should clarify your responsibilities and the expectations of your role on the board. This would include understanding fiduciary duties as well as many other things that may be required in the nonprofit you serve. Maybe it includes fundraising, maybe it includes um, service on a committee, all of those things. Just to understand your role and ask those questions. Knowing what's expected will help you to contribute effectively and really confidently. All right. Well, in conclusion, by focusing on these key areas, you'll be better equipped to make a meaningful impact as a nonprofit board member. Your commitment to learning and involvement will not only enhance your experience, but it'll strengthen the organization that you're there to serve. Okay. So if you have a new board member or 
you are a new board member, I just want to share with you that I have a whole playlist of videos called the Financial Training for Nonprofit Board Members. You can check it out here. Um, or you can visit my website for some additional resources, including a board literacy assessment that I offer for free. Enjoy. See you next time.